uh, especially for uh, applicants from Nigeria um, about 10 Academy, what our intensive training program is, and most importantly, uh, what the outcomes for people who go through the training usually are. So I'm going to go through. It's uh, not a very long presentation. The goal, most of the information that we have is available on our website, but I want to spend about 10 or 15 minutes highlighting what uh, we think the most important uh, aspects are, and then we have time for Q&A at the end. So before we get into who we are, I'd want to introduce myself. My name is Arun Sharma. I'm one of the co-founders of uh, the organization. Um, so we've been uh, training people since 2017. We're a US registered not-for-profit with uh, 501c3 status. Our headquarters is in California and we have offices in Ethiopia and Germany. And we've been very uh, happy and proud that some of our previous donors and current donors include UNESCO, the Wellcome Trust, uh, Jeff Dean, who's currently the chief scientist of Google through his personal foundation, the former CEO of Google, uh, Eric Schmidt through the Schmidt Futures Organization, Peter Thiel over via Emergent Ventures, the GitLab Foundation. So there's GitHub and GitLab, two different approaches. Um, I don't know if there's a question now. Otherwise, maybe that was a mistake. Yeah. Um, happy to take questions. You can also put your hand up or you can just type them in the box. Uh, the MasterCard Foundation and others. So that's a little bit about who we are um, and the background that we're coming from. Um, and so what I wanted to jump straight into, we have, uh, we're here today to talk about our flagship training program, which is called our intensive training. And that's what Miriam mentioned. It's a six month intensive training course. And we only have one goal. And that goal is to get you ready uh, for a global level AI job from day two. Obviously not day two of the training, but what it, what it means is the preparation that we provide is holistic such that uh, on the second day of your job, you will be ready to make a contribution. And uh, the specific roles that we have in mind are generative AI engineer, machine learning engineer, or data engineer. Um, another outcome that we provide to you, and we're, I'm gonna go into these in a little bit more detail, but I just wanted to highlight that the reason, the whole reason that we have the training is we recognize that there are brilliant young people across the continent who want a global level AI job uh, and they're trying to figure out how do they put together the entire package of things that they need uh, in order to get that global level AI job. Um, so we have the alumni community, uh, which is also part of it. And then finally, there's also a growth mindset. Um, and what we've seen, and I'll show this in some of the statistics that we have, where we want to help you get from your first global role uh, into being a team. In terms of salary outcomes, because I think that's an important component as well, what we've seen is a 95% job placement uh, within 12 months. And so I want to uh, make sure that everyone knows we're talking about global level jobs, but also to say that actually it's quite a, it's quite difficult. Um, there's a lot of work that has to be, has to go into it. So while the outcomes are really good, um, the initial salary, the average salary for the first job post training is uh, 1,500 US dollars for the first job. And within three years, we've seen the average salary grow up to an average of 38,000 US dollars, which uh, is a number that we're really happy with, we're really proud of, but it reflects a lot of work on the part of the training. So again, global level AI jobs, 95% um, job placement rate within 12 months, and average salary after three years of 38,000 uh, US dollars. Are there any questions there? Because I think this is an important important that everyone knows why we're here and the salaries are nice byproducts but any questions around why we exist and what the goals of our training are there are no questions in the okay. chat box so I okay. think it should go up. Yeah. Okay. So how does it work? Um, so the training is designed for those who are ready to invest uh, full time, and full time in our case means if you want to be the most successful, uh, it's usually about sixty hours a week, and so that means no side jobs. It's not suitable for people who are um, in studies at the same time who are busy doing other things. But we really need people to be uh, investing full time for three months during the intensive training phase. And then for the second uh, three months, that's what we call the supported job search phase, it's a little bit more flexible where um, it is possible to be, to be doing other things on the side. 
Every week, we're going to be providing you with a technical challenge that you complete yourself. You can present in your profile and you own the code for it. And we've done that because we want to prioritize active learning. Why do we want to prior prioritize active learning as well as profile development? It goes back to where we started that we think that that's important for you to be able to get the global level AI job uh, that's required. And it's not only because we think that, but that's what employers have told us. Two careers challenges that you'll be completing yourself, and we'll talk about those in more detail. Guest talks, tutorials that'll help you complete the challenges, group work, and then detailed custom feedback on every assignment. So every week uh, you're going to be getting, uh, this is what the schedule is gonna be looking like every single week. Um, as mentioned, uh, the training outcomes that we're looking for is we want you to get ready not only to get the interview, so one is when you get your, all of your materials together, we make sure that they're prepared, you have a profile that's there, your CV is up to scratch, um, all of the skills that you have listed on your CV, they're not just listed on your CV, but you're able to back them up with code and GitHub with uh, projects that you can showcase on your personal profile. So we want you to get you, get you ready to get those interviews. We will work with you to pass those interviews and then once you start the job, you sign your contract, um, we want you to go from that first global level job into the team leader role within a couple of years. And that's why we want you to be ready to contribute value from day two. Another outcome that we have from the training is uh, a rich online community. So I'm gonna go through each of these in more detail. Yeah? Is there a question? I thought I heard a ding. <clears throat> so the four outcomes that I want to talk about, and I'm going to go into each of these in more detail, is getting you ready for interviews, to pass interviews, and contribute value from day two. The motivation and learning with others in a rich community, because we've heard from, um, I guess we've had thousands of applicants by now. Um, I think everyone knows that uh, learning by yourself at home without support and without motivation is difficult. The third thing is actually getting the job. So once you have all the materials, once you've done all the work, you actually need to get that job. And in order to get that job, you need to uh, apply for jobs. And so we have some employers that we work with, but more than that, we want to, uh, through the supported job search phase, to help you apply for about 500 jobs within a three month period and to prepare to pass each of those interviews. And then the last point is we want to give you the right mindset to continue to progress in your career from the junior level to the team lead. So I'm going to go into each of those in a bit more detail. So training outcome number one, getting you ready to get those interviews, to pass the interviews, and to contribute value from day two. So for us, those are to have the, all of the competencies from a technical as well as from a career perspective that you need. So first, we're going to give you 10 technical projects with, that have been designed with industry partners or taken from industry, and each of them is designed to give you hands-on skills, and each of them is a full end-to-end -end challenge. So here, we're not talking about just doing one small part of it, but starting with the business requirements to gathering the data or taking the data that we give to you, working with it, building the whole tech stack around it. Um, we provide things like open AI access. We will pay for AWS access so you actually get your hands dirty in an environment which is similar to what you'll be doing in the world of work. Documentation, uh, handing it in, and then uh, preparing slides, preparing a report, and explaining it uh, to your business. Um, in this case, it's a simulated environment, but making sure that you are comfortable and you're familiar with what it's like to do the full end-to-end -end challenge. And some examples of, and I'm not going to go through them, but these are some examples here. So covering machine learning engineering, uh, building data warehouses using tools like Airflow, DBT, building, L building LLM chatbots for data analytics, uh, prompt tuning using RAGS, and then uh, LLM fine tuning. We're also going to give you about 15 careers challenges to cover things like how do you ask good questions, how do you work with your team, and how do you use tools, things like project management tools, reporting tools, task tracking tools that are used in the industry. And then the third thing that we're going to do is give you the right uh, mindset and culture. And so that learning mindset in each and every person who's part of the training. We recognize that uh, motivation and work, uh, working and learning from others in the community is really difficult and important. So you're going to be working with 50 others from across the continent who are equally invested into the training as you are. So while we're going to be providing you with some support, uh, a lot of the learning is going to be happening from uh, other people in the community. We guarantee a five-minute response time during weekdays so that we have paid tutors on staff who are going to be giving you answers. Um, there's a rich community environment that's been created. We have a full-time community manager, daily stand-ups, daily community building activities and group projects as well. So what we find and one of the ways we measure our success here is 
if you want support, do you find that there's others who can uh, support you and answer questions? And by and large, uh, the answer has been, I think, 95% yes. During the supported job search phase, so we know that applying for jobs is difficult, so we're going to put you, uh, we're going to create a, uh, as part of your training group, you're going to be applying for jobs with other people. We have an AI-driven auto job matching engine that gets you relevant jobs into your inbox every day. Um, we're going to be helping you upskill yourself in specific areas that you need in order to get through interviews. We're going to work with you to prepare custom interview scripts for every single interview, and we're also going to be providing mock interviews. And then finally, um, what we find is very important is we don't just want to get you to your first global level job, but we want you to be progressing. Um, and so we see that our grad starting salaries usually grow very quickly once they're at work. And so essentially, where we see most of the people who apply to us, they're on a trajectory which is rather flat. Their salaries are in the few hundred US dollar range, but they're never going to easily be able to access or it's going to take them many years to be able to access the sort of uh, global level salaries of a few thousand dollars a month. And so what we do is jump you from where you are now to where you can be, and then we see salaries are growing quickly. So learning how to learn is a big part of the culture, how to ask good questions, how to deliver business value, and finally, how to work with individuals. The, I think it's my last point, last thing that I want to cover, um, because all of this, as a not-for-profit, we want to cover our costs. So our actual costs to deliver the training are in the 1,600 to 1,700 US dollar range. Uh, we've priced this at $2,000 because we want the ability to grow, to uh, offer scholarships to people or payment deferral to people who aren't able to afford it, and uh, to keep offering the training to more people. So there's a slight increase, about 15% uh, on top of the actual cost. And uh, we've started an upfront payment option with uh, payment available in USD. But I think for the majority of people here, what we're looking at are people who want a deferred tuition payment. So there's nothing uh, to you until four weeks of training have been completed. So what that means is uh, we welcome you to apply. If you get through the selection process, then check out the training, see if it's for you. Um, it's a long commitment. It's a big commitment. So we want to make sure that uh, we are a good fit, that uh, we think that you'll be able to get a global level job, but you also see the value in what we're providing. Um, we're able to offer further fee deferrals for top performers. We're, for the first time, going to be making payment options available in Naira. And then finally, and I haven't mentioned this on the slides, but I'm going to add this just afterwards. Um, if you don't get a global level job, then uh, earning above 500 US dollars a month, you don't need to pay until you, uh, until you, reach, that, until you reach that level. So I'll stop there. I know I've said a lot, and I think I went through it rather quickly, as promised, about 10 or 15 minutes. But uh, just to summarize, the program that we've put together is for highly motivated people who want to get a global level job in the field of AI. And the program uh, provides technical skills, career skills, support to apply for jobs, learning in a rich community environment, hands-on um, experience with using the types of tools that you'll be using uh, when you get to industry. And our success rate, as mentioned, has been very high, uh, both in terms of job placement, in terms of salary outcomes. And yeah, I'd welcome uh, any questions that you have. We can also then talk about, uh, we are launching a new program. We can talk about that afterwards, which is much less intensive. And it's not focused on AI, creating AI engineers, but actually just using AI. And that's that could be another option. So yeah, over to the group to ask any questions. Um, if the, yeah, so I'll stop there. Are there any questions, guys? I know it's a lot of information. So maybe we can just go around the group. I'd love to hear from people. What are they, uh, when we talk about global level AI jobs, what do people have in mind? Are we on the same page here in terms of the types of jobs that we're talking about? Um, I'm happy to present our alumni placement map. We have people working remotely. Some people do move. Uh, we've talked about average salaries after graduation. 
what do you guys have in mind? Why are you here? Can somebody unmute and let me know if you don't have a question, uh, why are you here? Yeah. What are you interested in learning about? Maybe I can ask Olabi. I think she was the first one who was here. Olabi, why are you here? Anybody else? Anyone want to share uh, what their interest, why have they come to the webinar, what are they interested in learning about? Or any questions around the payment options? Because from, I think one thing that I do want to emphasize is uh, we are a private not-for-profit organization. Our uh, baseline measure really is impact. And so we are able to be flexible. Um, we're able to be flexible in payment options. But the caveat there is we really want to be flexible for those people who are ready to put the work in. So Emmanuel, please go ahead. Hello, Prof. Good evening, sir. Hello. Yeah, can you hear me, sir? Good evening, sir. Good evening. I can hear you very well. Yes, Emmanuel speaking from Nigeria, sir. Hi, Emmanuel. Yeah. I want to really find out the training and the placement will be from my location. I do not need to travel. No, fully on, it'll be fully online. You need to travel maybe fully to the online. kitchen. You need to travel to the okay. kitchen to feed yourself, but not further than that. That's okay. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, another person asked a question in the chat box. They said, you talked about full time for the first three months, the other times. that Can you expand more on like, the idea of the work as during the first three months, like how will it look like? Yeah, I think on average, uh, the most successful people are spending about 10 hours a day, six days a week. And the reason is the challenges are, we always provide more work than can be comfortably done in that period. So if you talk, I'm gonna go and look at, uh, present uh, some of okay. the, the topics that we're covering here. So if you think about uh, prompt tuning for enterprise grade RAG systems, there's a lot that's very difficult if you're starting from scratch to cover the entire topic in one week. And so what we see is that the people who spend about 10 hours a day, six days a week for 12 weeks, they understand enough about that topic so that uh, they can teach themselves enough to get through or they can get through the interview uh, in such a way that the uh, company believes, okay, this person knows enough, not only about uh, what is the topic, but they've done enough work, they can ask intelligent questions, and they have an idea of what it is that they don't know. But that takes about 60 hours a week. So for the first three months, we need people with full energy to really be focusing six days a week, and then there's one day off, Sundays are off, and then another six days of full-on active learning. So I think that's another thing that I want to underline. Um, because we prioritize active learning, this is not a course where you can sit back and consume content. We have no exams. There's no tests. We do, we do provide a certificate for those people who uh, graduate well and complete the projects well. But the outcome that we have in mind is not a certificate. It's not a job. It's not a certificate, uh, even if we will provide that. The hardest test you will face is going through every single technical interview from a global level company. And our preparation is designed to prepare you for that. And that's why 10 hours a day, six days a week for 12 weeks um, is enough for you to uh, get to that level. I don't know if that answers the question. So, uh, Ario, there's. There's, there isn't really a part-time option. Um, and the reason is, given the amount of material that we have to cover, it's not suitable for part-time studies. I can tell, we'll tell you, I'll tell you in a moment about a different program which is suitable for part-time studies, but um, it's not enough, it's not enough time to jump the gap between where most of our students are when applying and the expectations at the global level. 
So part-time is not really an option here. Actually, no, it's not an option. So maybe, it, oh, sorry, there's a, there's a Q and A part that I'm not seeing. Yes, ah, I see. Ah, uh, when is the program starting? Uh, the program will be starting in Rodas. You have the dates. The exact dates are in at the end of April, I believe. I think the 22nd of April. So applications are due by the 31st of March. Yeah, and the program will be starting on the 22nd of April. And for those who apply early, then we do have an early payment option. We have an early uh, selection process. So maybe I can hear from the group, why, why are some of you here? Are you interested in getting the global level job? Have some of you tried? Have you been self-learning? Tell me more about why you're here, please. Hello, sir. I think uh, I'll try the registration when it's, when it's out. It's so ready. Can... The applications are open. So if you go to apply. I'll, put, I'll post a link here. Uh, apply.tenacademy.org. Okay. Or if you go to tenacademy.org, there's also more information there. This is the intensive training program. Um, yeah, everything is there. How many, how many of you, maybe you can put your hands up or you can use an emoji or a reaction, how many of you would be interested in uh, getting an AI job? So I'll come back to you. So we have two, Emmanuel, Ario wants, they want an AI job. Henry. Okay, so we only have three people who want a job in the AI field, is that right? Ismail, others, I don't see some Oh, Labi and Collagio don't want an AI job, which is fine. Um, okay, and so for those of you who are interested in working in the AI field, how many of you are would be interested in getting a job with an international company? I guess everybody, right? And so what, what are the difficulties that you're facing? Can somebody walk me through some of the difficulties that they've that they're facing? One of our difficulties is uh, uh, power precisely and access to infrastructure really. And when you say infrastructure, do you mean uh, electricity and internet, or do you mean access to AWS and open AI? No. Electricity and internet are our major constraints here. Electricity, number one. Yeah, I can, I can understand that. I mean, with what, what the way we've designed our training is that if you miss a, if you miss a session because light is, the light is out or the internet is down, everything is recorded. So you can always catch back up later. That's one. Two is we use Slack so that when you come back online, you can catch up and see which, uh, what information was there. So it is, we have students from Sudan. We have students from uh, Djibouti. We have students from Benin. 100% uh, of our students are based in Africa. 100% of them have internet and electricity problems. But people are able to keep up. What about somebody else? Henry, Ismail? Uh, Ario, tell me about some of the challenges you face when you're looking for global level jobs. So Ario's just written self-learning, like you said, it's not easy, with difficulty in building projects, not knowing how to perform a project or ask the right question. So the I think you're absolutely right. And Ario, one of the uh, examples that I use when I'm describing it to myself is it's about cooking. Uh, so if I if you ask me to cook, I know how to cook at home for myself. But if you ask me to go and get a job at a restaurant, 
I don't even know anything about cooking in a restaurant. I don't know how to use a, a commercial stove. I don't know how what sort of hygiene requirements, what sort of food re ordering requirements, and I don't know how to cook. I can cook for five people, but I can't cook for 500 people at the same time. And that's why we've designed the course to, we've done the work of talking to industry and understanding what it is that they're expecting. And we've broken that down into a digestible 12 week pace for the intensive training part. And then a further uh, 12 weeks to, to go through the application process to uh, get what's required. And so I think it's that requirements analysis and uh, working very closely with industry to understand what they want, and then providing the motivation of learning with other people that we think is the real value add. And packaging this in a way which is uh, low or no risk for you, and very, uh, we think it's very affordable. So one, one thing that I wanted to touch on in terms of return on investment, the total cost of the program is less than two months of salary. And so we have somebody who's been through our training course who's now uh, earning I mean, the average person who goes through the training course uh, earns an extra 1.5 to $5 million. That's our projection over their lifetime. So we've tried to design this in such a way that the cost is very, very low. The cost of the training uh, does need to be eventually paid back, but we have the deferred tui tuition options. What about you, Ismail? What's, uh, what's making it difficult for you to jump to the global level? I know we have some people who have joined a little bit later. Yeah, so I'm going to do that. And Miriam, I'm going to ask you to give the Naira numbers. Um, I've projected here the, so I think I'm assuming that the 2000 US dollar option is not a, uh, let's, let's focus on the deferred tuition payment. Um, Miriam, can you walk through the numbers in Naira, please? So we have the uh, the discount for the top performers, and then the normal amount uh, for people in Naira for people who are uh, they don't distinguish themselves. And I think we said in the top twenty percent. Maria. Okay. So um, for the deferred option, deferred payment option, you have to pay um, after the first four weeks. That's when you have to pay the commitment fee. And initially, the commitment fee is um, five hundred dollars, but because of the exchange rates and um, different other factors. It was brought down specifically for Nigerians to $200, which is about 300,000 Naira as it is now. But there's now a caveat there, such that if in the first uh, four weeks, if you are very like top performing and then doing the assessments, you're among like the top, top 20%. So the fee can also be reduced, like for you to pay um, the remaining fee after the training. So it can be reduced to about 50, Dollars, which is about 75,000 Naira. And I think it's a good one because compared to what you learn at the end of the day, and if you're able to like complete the program, which is the main aim. So the focus here is, is not even about the money. It's about um, being motivated enough to complete the program and get a, level, um, a global level job. And I think we've, we've already done a lot. Um, considering the economy of Nigeria, reducing our fee and every other thing. Yeah, I, w I wanted to just touch on what Miriam said and just emphasize that for us, uh, finding highly motivated people is a higher priority than finding people who have the ability to pay. But finding the, those people who are ready to put in the work and to learn and unlearn and relearn and teach themselves uh, is really our top goal here. Ismail, you have your hand up. Do you have a question? Ismail Moshut, do you have a question? Okay, 
Um, are there any other questions that, uh, so while we're just waiting for questions, I wanted to just cover another program that we're launching, um, which is, so if the goal of, of our intensive training is to get a global level job as an AI engineer, um, and the cost is what we've described here, we're, we're actually launching another program right now, which is focused on improving the overall employability of young people across Africa. Um, the program has no cost, and there we're teaching people to, uh, to it's called AI enhanced project management. So we want to teach people to be expert users of tools like ChatGPT, no code tools like Notion and Airtable and Copilot types of solutions as it applies to project management. And there the expected outcomes in terms of gain and employability are uh, a little bit less modest, but there we want to teach people to be expert users of tools. So that program applications are also open for that if you go to tenacademy.org. And that program is something that we call UTJ, so University Two, the number two jobs. So because of uh, because of a donor, in this case, the GitLab Foundation, um, that program has no fee attached to it, or the fee is being paid by the GitLab Foundation. Yeah. So if there, if there's no other questions, then I think we can wrap up. But uh, happy to answer. Maybe ask. I'll ask one more time if there's any questions. If there's any, and please don't be shy. I hope that our uh, the offer that we have in mind is clear. I want to emphasize a couple of things. One is that we're looking for highly motivated people. Two is uh, there's the opportunity to try with the program for uh, at least four weeks, and then there's the payment and the commitment fee, which uh, we're ready to be flexible and accepted in Naira. And we're also ready to offer a significant discount all the way down to 75,000 Naira for top performers. And the outcome that we have in mind, uh, and we're, I'd say, very successful in that, is uh, getting people go global level jobs uh, as AI engineers. In terms of prerequisites, it's not something that we've touched on, uh, and nobody's asked the question. We're looking for people who have some knowledge of programming, ideally in Python, some level of mathematical fluency and uh, in uh, statistics and in algebra. But uh, I mean, those are more nice to have. I think the programming, having a, some programming background is important, but one doesn't need to be an expert programmer. But the most important thing really is that uh, the motivation. Yeah. Are there any of the people who have recently joined who have, have any questions that they want to ask? I see Yinka has just joined. Any questions? Should I do a quick summary for any late joiners? Does anyone want the five-minute summary? OK. So if there's no more questions and nobody wants the summary, then I think we can wrap up. Thank you, everyone, for your time. And uh, you can always reach us at uh, train at tenacademy.org for any questions. Um, feel free to reach out. Yeah, go ahead, Yinka. OK, so, so sorry, because I'm just joining. I, I don't know if you can just recap briefly so that I can uh, be abreast of uh, some of the things you've done so far. Yeah, very happy to do that. Um, I'm going to go through it quickly, just the slides that we've prepared. Um, and this could be a good summary for everyone else. So uh, my name is Arun Sharma. I'm one of the co-founders of Ten Academy. We're a US registered not-for-profit, and we've been training people since 2017. Uh, we're registered, our headquarters in California, and we have offices in Ethiopia and Germany. And we're fortunate to have the support of donors, including UNESCO, the Wellcome Trust, uh, Google's chief scientist through his personal foundation, his name is Jeff Dean, has supported us, uh, the former CEO of Google, Peter Thiel, via a program in the US called Emergent Ventures, MasterCard Foundation, and others. So why we exist is getting people into glo improving people's employment. And the outcome that we have in mind for the intensive training is we want people to be ready to contribute to, to get a global level AI job and be ready to contribute on their second day of work so that they're not just uh, they don't. They don't just have the theoretical knowledge, but they have the practical hands-on, hands-on knowledge, and they can make a contribution. We're preparing people for roles as generative AI engineers, machine learning engineers, data engineers. We are um, graduates all, are also part of our alumni community. And uh, the last outcome that I wanted to talk about is this growth mindset, uh, so that you don't just get your first job, but you can grow within that as part of your career. 
the outcomes that we've seen in terms of salary and job placement, 95% job placement within 12 months. Uh, the average salary after three years is 38,000 US dollars. And the first average salary for the first job is uh, about 1.5, 1,500 uh, US dollars. Um, so it's designed for those who are ready to invest full-time effort, 10 hours a day, six days a week for 12 weeks or three months, and then part-time for a further three months. And every week you're gonna have, we're gonna have a technical challenge where you're gonna be uh, working on the challenge, active learning, you'll be completing the challenge yourself, you'll be owning the code and be able to showcase that project, two careers challenges, guest talks, tutorials, group work, and you'll be getting detailed custom feedback on every assignment. So I'm gonna go through four of the training outcomes uh, and I'll go through each of these in more detail. So number one is getting you ready to get an interview to pass them and being ready to contribute uh, value to your employer at the global level. The second is learning, staying motivated and learning with uh, in a rich community environment. The third is actually getting the job and going through the process of applying for about 500 jobs and preparing to pass those interviews. And finally, uh, the mindset to be able to progress within your careers from the, your first job, which would be an entry level AI engineer job to a team lead job. Uh, so the first one, getting you ready to get the interview, to pass the interview and be contributing value. We think you need technical uh, expertise, career skills, and then you need the right mindset and the right culture. So there'll be 10 different technical projects and we design them with industry or they're taken from industry. And each of those will give you hands-on skill and we'll cover a full end-to-end -end challenge. Um, so here's some examples of projects, user analytics and telecommunications, building your own data warehouse with uh, MySQL, DBT and Airflow, building an LLM uh, chatbot, uh, doing rags with prompt tuning for generative AI, and then uh, fine tuning LLM systems. Career challenges, uh, covering communication skills, curiosity and uh, tools, and then finally creating a learning mindset. We know that it's very hard, especially our training is fully remote, so you can be at home, in your kitchen, uh, you can be wherever you want. Um, so because it's fully remote, it has the disadvantage that people who are self-learning often find it hard to stay motivated. So we have a rich community environment. Uh, you'll be working and learning with 50 others or more from across Africa who are equally invested into the training as you are. So we find that that's a very uh, good way to have people share their information, how far have they gotten, which approach did they take, people are asking questions, and we guarantee a five minute response time during core hours, either from other learners or from our paid team of tutors. We have a full-time community manager, and we put a lot of emphasis on building a rich community uh, while working, but also um, kind of socially. And so daily stand-ups, online community events, daily community, um, community-based, uh, what do we call it? Yeah, community-based sessions as well. And then we also have group projects. Uh, we have our supported job search phase because we realize that even once people are done the training, it's very hard to actually uh, go through the process of applying for jobs. It's very difficult and in many ways it's very depressing because the ratio that we're seeing is you need to apply for about 500 jobs to get one. And so that means to an extent 499 rejections and that's done much better in a group. And so we provide the support where you can apply with others. We provide you with an AI-driven auto job matching engine that'll get you relevant jobs in your inbox every day. We're gonna work with you to upskill yourself in specific areas that you need to get through the interviews. We will work with you to prepare a custom interview script for every single interview and provide you with mock interviews as well. And then the right mindset uh, to progress from junior level to team leads. So how, how to learning how to learn, asking good questions, delivering business value, and working with internationals. The course of the train, the cost of the training is uh, about 1,600 US dollars. We are a not for profit, so that is, um, yeah, we're happy to share the cost because we're not here to make money, but we do want to cover the cost. The reason why we're asking for $2,000 is so we can grow the program and offer the training to more people. Um, thanks to the support of donors and people who have come before, we are able to offer deferred tuition payments, so there's nothing due until four weeks of training have been completed. And then we normally ask for a deposit of 500 US dollars. Um, in Naira, we're I'm now for the first time offering payment uh, in payment options in Naira. So the normal payment of 500 US dollars, considering the economic conditions in Nigeria and the currency, um, we're able to offer to bring that down to 200 US dollars or 300,000 Naira. And for top performers, those uh, who are doing really, really well, then we're able to bring that down to $50 uh, or 75,000 Naira. 
So that's a that's a quick overview of uh, of the program. So the program starts on the 22nd of April. Applications close on the 31st of March, and um, we are planning to have an early decision uh, for trainees who apply before the 1st of March and who are interested in knowing earlier whether they're accepted to the program or not. We have quite an intensive selection process because we don't want to accept you and we don't want to take your money uh, if we don't think we can get you a global level job. Any questions? Yeah, thank you, sir. Um, um, thanks for that explanation. Uh, how many hours per week? Uh, how many hours is that lecture going to be? So there's very few lectures. It's mostly active learning. Uh, it means that you need to work and complete the projects. We're looking successful. Uh, people are spending about 10 hours a day, six days a week. 10 hours a day, OK. Yeah. I said the total package is 200,000, I mean, 2,000 US dollar. Correct. Uh, I don't know if you are very familiar with Nigeria, that the rate is about uh, close to 2,000 Naira presently. Mm -hmm. And that's about uh, 4 million Naira. So what we're able to offer is that you are only paying, after the deferred tuition payment, you're only, okay. paying, the re you're only paying the rest once you're earning 500 US dollars uh, per month or more. So if you don't get a if you don't get a good job, you don't need to pay it back. Oh, that's great. <laughs> okay, so how, how much do you call the deposit again after so the, the training? Well, in the by in the fourth week of the training, so that would be by about uh, let's say May twentieth, you would have to deposit three hundred thousand naira. Three hundred thousand. Okay. Yeah. And if you're one of the top performers, then we're able to bring that down to seventy five thousand. Bring what to seventy-five thousand dollars? I didn't get the, that. The commitment fee. So we're able to reduce the commitment fee even further for the top performers, okay. to seven to seventy-five thousand, and the rest is only to be paid once you're getting a job earning five hundred US dollars per month or more. So if I'm not part of the uh, best uh, student, if if uh, the first five best students, how much do I pay? Three hundred thousand naira. Three hundred. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. And then the, the rest of the tuition is to be paid once you once you have a job earning five hundred dollars a month or more. Oh, fantastic! Seventy five. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm I'm okay for now. Okay. Uh, I mean, so one of the reasons we did this is we want we have we have skin in the game. So we wouldn't do this if we weren't confident that the system works. Yes, and the the the, the workload that I saw in the uh, concerning some of the things you said they are going to treat within that space of the three months. I, I, I don't know if it's not, is it not too loaded for it this? Is. is it? Yeah. It is. Do you think a uh, student can cope with such magnitude of... Uh, it's not uh, easy, but that, uh, that's why we're, we're looking for people who, are, who want, who want, uh, who want to earn the $1,500 a month. I mean, it's very, so on the other side, we're seeing employers can't find the right people. So you have to you have to learn the technical skills, you have to learn the communication skills, one has to acquire the confidence and one has to acquire the fluency. It's a lot. It's a lot. But what we've seen is successful people, successful people have said, for the next three months, I'm only going to focus on this one thing, nothing else. I'm going to make sure that this is, I'm going to make the investment of time and energy. I'm not going to do anything else. And that's been the most important, uh, the biggest outcome that we've seen. And for some people who are already freelancing, um, what we've seen is that you know, people are busy and they've, they're probably earning some money from uh, whatever jobs they're doing. But uh, the industry and the technology is changing very quickly. And... Uh, investing that time and energy and learning about generative AI, learning about all of the new tools and techniques that are coming, uh, we think is a good investment. And the average salary, the average salary of, uh, for the first job post training, uh, the cost that were the cost of the training is less than two months of salary. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, thanks for the explanation. Um, yeah. Okay, and Miriam has posted an email address. You can always uh, ask any questions there.
Um, I think we've answered all other questions. Are there, uh, last call, are there any other questions for either Miriam or for me? So Miriam is based in Nigeria and uh, she's working with us to try and uh, make sure that uh, the program is suitable for Nigeria. So Ario says, Python knowledge is needed to what extent of basically is just list dictionaries, pandas, and numpy. I, I think that's fine. The more, the better. Uh, I think having some familiarity with programming is useful. But I think what you've described here, a basic familiarity with Python is probably good enough if you're a motivated learner. Ismail? No, good evening, sir. Good evening. Please, uh, I just want to ask, can I know the difference between uh, machine learning and machine learning engineer? Engineering or something. Do you want to know the difference between machine learning and? Machine learning engineer. Engineering or I, I didn't get the question. Machine like, learning. Can I know the difference between machine learning and machine learning? Machine learning and machine engineering, if there's anything like that. I did the same, I did the same thing, or what? Yeah, so I think it's a good question. We want people, <clears throat> so what are employers looking for? Employers are looking for people who can implement a machine learning system. So a machine learning engineer is somebody who would get hired to build and implement and maintain a machine learning system for, an, for a company. That's it. Okay, so basically they are the same thing, right? They're the same thing. And the machine learning engineer is the person who would get hired to build, maintain uh, a machine learning system. Yeah, same thing. OK, good, okay, thank you. Yeah, OK, super. Thank you, everyone. Any other questions? Wonderful. Thank you. Uh, we look forward to getting any more questions you have. And we hope to see some of you on the course. Uh, if you know of other people in your networks, who you think this could be suitable for, who are ready to make that jump from uh, where they are now to a global level job and they're ready to work hard for it, please don't hesitate to recommend them uh, to us. Thank you.